From Chicago's number one news, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 5 starts right now. The are underway right now for a Park Forest police officer who was critically injured in the line of duty. Officer Timothy Jones was shot while responding to a break-in earlier this month. Eyewitness News reporter Will Jones joining us live in Madison, where there's a big show of support there tonight, right, Will? Hey, Alan, yeah, it is very crowded. They are selling T-shirts behind me. We're at the Coverts location on Cicero in Madison. Let's get right over to Deputy Chief Paul Winfrey with the Park Forest Police Department. First, how is Officer Jones doing? Uh, he's making small steps every day. It's going to be a long, hard battle, but he's shown in the last 12 days what he's capable of, and he's, he's fighting hard. And what's your reaction to all the support he's getting from the community? It is crowded in here. It, it's amazing. Um, I mean, the outpouring of support has been fantastic. It's fantastic that Culver's uh, arranged this, um, and the support from the community is just incredible. All right, thank you for your time. I know a lot of people want to greet you. Let's get over to Jack Rush with Culver's. What is your reaction and to the, the turnout, and how did you all get involved with this? The turnout's incredible. Um, my local store marketing manager, Asia, Asia Perkins, she reached out to us when she saw it. We just all felt it was the right thing to do. We got behind it. The police departments got behind it. Our local community serves us, so we want to serve them back. It's an incredible turnout here. So how does it work? It goes until 8? It goes from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m., even though we started early and we'll probably go late. Um, we're getting a crazy turnout here. Um, we're looking to donate 20% of all of our sales to uh, Tim Jones' family and to support him in this time. So it's, uh, it's intense for us right now. All right. Every booth in this restaurant... People are eating. This is a great turnout, and a lot of people are very thankful for the support that Timothy Jones is getting. We're live in Madison. Will Jones, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Will, thanks. thanks. Friends, family, and even strangers plan to help the family of a wounded police officer. Park Forest Officer Tim Jones was shot while investigating a break-in earlier this month. NBC5 Trina Orlando is at a restaurant in Madison where a fundraiser will start in about a half hour. A lot of support, Trina. Yeah, there sure is, Rob. They are expecting a huge crowd here. Uh, the event was shared on Facebook more than a thousand times, and organizers say it is a win-win. Come out, get yourself something to eat, and help someone else at the same time. The Culver's in Madison is preparing for a big crowd this evening. The restaurant has teamed up with several local police departments to host a night of giving to raise money for injured Park Forest police officer Tim Jones. The rookie officer was shot in the head on March 19th while responding to a break-in. The suspect opened fire on officers, critically injuring Officer Jones. Jones underwent surgery and continues to recover. Groups around town are now selling T-shirts to raise funds for Officer Jones and spread the hashtag Tim Strong. It's important because it's a part of our community, and we actually have a lot of team members here who knows Officer Jones personally by going to school with them. So it's very important for us to give back to the community in any way we could. And the event runs from 5 to 8 p.m. 20% of all sales will go to Officer Jones Medical Fund. We are live in Madison. I'm Trina Orlando, NBC5 News. We're all thinking of Officer Absolutely. Jones. You're watching the NBC5 News at 6. This hour, people are lining up inside a suburban restaurant to buy a burger and to support Tim Jones. He's the Park Forest police officer shot in the line of duty. NBC 5 Trina Orlando's at the Culver's in Madison with more on this night of giving and a huge amount of support, Trina. Yeah, Robin Marion, what an amazing turnout, turnout here at the Culver's in Madison for this event. Take a look. You can see it is standing room only in here at this hour. The line to get food is wrapping the whole way around the restaurant. Outside, it is bumper to bumper. I can tell you this was all put together very quickly, so all indications are it was a huge success. A big crowd at the Culver's in Madison this evening, all here to support critically injured Park Forest police officer Tim Jones. He's one of the policemen in our town, and we'll do everything we can to hope he gets better and comes, comes back. We've lived in Park Forest for a long time, and this is our community spirit, and I just wanted to be a part of it. Jones was shot in the head back on March 19th while responding to a break-in. His injuries were life-threatening, and he remains in a medically-induced coma at Christ Hospital. He's making small steps every day. It's going to be a long, hard battle. Um, he's shown in the last 12 days what he can do, and he's continuing to, to improve and to do that. The community that Jones serves is now coming together to support him. A group is selling T-shirts in his honor, hoping to raise funds for his recovery. We actually have a lot of team members here who knows Officer Jones personally, 
family by going to school with them. So it was very important for us to give back to the community in any way we could. And back out here live now, you can see uh, police officers from across the area are here for the event. They are mingling with people and thanking them for coming in. Now, this will continue until 8 o'clock this evening, and 20% of all of the sales from Culver's this evening will go to Officer Jones Medical Care. We are live at the Culver's in Madison. I'm Trina Orlando, NBC5 News. Uh, it's good to see the support. Thanks, Trina. Absolutely.